Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. It is Sunday, the 20th of October, 2024. I'm looking at this Warhammer the Horus Heresy Thousand Sons Magistus Amon. Uh, looks pretty cool. Kind of looks like a Liberian, like the Ultramarines one from way back. But it does look quite nice. I mean, in the head, I should say. Um, and as I said in the toy haul video, having all these other colours breaking up that metallic red will make it look less plasticky, less toy like. And we can see on the back, it doesn't come for the helmeted head that I can see there. So I guess there's an inside, but it does look pretty cool. And that head looks really quite nice there. Has to be said. Let's hope the paint job on mine matches what's on the box. Okay, let me unbox and set it up. I'll be back in an instant. Stay tuned. And here he is. He's actually a very nice looking figure and the head on mine does appear to be nicely painted. I'll have a closer look at that in a second. But first up, accessories. Comes with a clear round plastic base we've seen previously and he comes with three pairs of additional hands. So default he comes with right trigger and left gripping. He also comes with a, can we see this? There we go. A left trigger and a right gripping, so that's the reverse. Comes a left and right fist. And also it comes with a left and right open, but they are slightly different. That's it for the accessories. Please consider joining the Patreon link in the top right of your screen now. You're going to see all the videos before they're published on YouTube, exclusive content from time to time, and prize draws too, including the next prize draw happening next month, November 2024. Okay, I will zoom out and then I'll bring him closer for the uh, close up, close look. Let's get a focus on his head. Eyes aren't quite painted the same, but close enough. He's looking to his left. And got some paint seepage around there, but I could say it's source lighting, so that's okay, I guess. And all these this gold, the green, and this white, and whatever else colors are breaking up that. Oh, we've got a book there, no, then, and some scrolls, sorry. He's is breaking up that metallic red color, which I think looks too toy like. So it does work particularly well. He is a nice looking figure. Okay, let's look at articulation. We'll take his uh, weapon out. I didn't swap his hands around, so it'd be quite easy. There we go. That shoulder, oh, that's interesting. How his shoulder's gonna be on this one. It's different pauldron. So, top to bottom, nozzles on the backpack go around, head side to side, forwards backwards, can turn. Shoulders all the way around on this one and this one as well. Lateral raise. This is going to be really bad on this one here. We know already. That's really bad. And this one is or should be. It's like it's almost going to there and it just sort of decides to stop. But this one can get to about there. So it is better with having that small pauldron as we'd expect. They both have that nice shoulder roll, which really helps with them holding weapons. Um, there should be a bicep swivel, but it's hidden behind all these robes. Bicep bend is still getting over 90 degrees, which is fantastic, seeing the amount of extra bulk he's got. Trunk, he's going to suffer because the way that, that the little, what a bib, the little um, armor part comes over the abdominals there. But it should be okay for backwards on the trunk. Forwards not so great. Side to side and turn. The waist can turn forwards, backwards and side to side too. So together, sideways is pretty good. Forwards not so much. Backwards is okay. Hips not very far because the fight armor. And you can't pull the hips down on these ones, unfortunately. Forwards not very far before it goes to the side. Backwards is pretty decent. So together it's okay. 
There's a thigh twist, it's a double kneecap, so nice, I'm sorry, let's say nice and tight. He's getting slightly over 90 degrees. The uh, sculpting's getting in the way. His, his kneecaps aren't that ugly underneath, so that's pretty cool. Then the feet we're familiar with. We know the feet, he's gonna have a uh, left and right swivel turn. Oh, he's gonna have a uh, dorsiflexation, tippy toe. See the metal joint inside there, and a bit stiff, but there you go. Toe articulation too. So you know, no surprising articulation. Just slightly better than normal with his uh his left our right shoulder here, because that pulled in slightly smaller. Okay, let's stand him up. Let's get an idea of size, and compare him to some of his brethren, some of his fellow sons. Okay, let's see. So it says 12.3 on the box. On CM, top of his head. No, nah, he's not 12.3. You measured that. Top of his head is around about 13, 13.1 maybe. So he's around about just under five and a quarter inches. So compare him to a blade, or is this the blade master? I forget. It was a standard size thousand suns. And you can see that he's bigger than the standard size. Uh, not much bigger, but he is bigger. Then compare him to the recently released and reviewed Praetor, who's in the Cataphyracti. That's pronounced right. Terminator army, armor. And now he looks kind of small in comparison. He's a nice figure. It's a, it's a good release. It's a different look to the other stuff, so it is nice. Um, I'm still... Is his backpack on a funny angle, like leading over to the right? looks like um i'm still a fan of the thousand sun just that color scheme does not do it for me yeah that that backpack looks like it's leaning over to our right his left quite severely um just notice that let's have a quick check i know some of the backpacks aren't particularly well done maybe this is one of them let me see if i can have a quick look on so I to see and go from the one. Yes, yeah, different. There appears to be a definite difference. In where the hole is. So I'm going to say yes, my backpack is not straight. Is definitely. If I put his head like that. Now the backpack looks straight, but his head's not straight. Put his head straight, now the backpack is leaning over. Anyway, I'm just, you know, waffling on since I just noticed that. Nice figure. A nice release. I, I like that. Um, help with your display to give you some more unique looking pieces. So I think it's a worthwhile purchase if you're into your... Horus Heresy, particularly your Horus Heresy Chaos Stroke Thousand Sun stuff. Quite nice. Okay, this is all Smash Toys signing out saying please like, share, subscribe. Check out the Patreon. I'll see another video soon. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye bye.